Johnson of the International Secret Police. Speed Gibson is keeping an eye on developments in Hong Kong regarding the activities of the criminal, the octopus. Clint and Barney are 200 miles up the Siong River in the company of Bob Gilmore, who came to their rescue when they made a forced landing on the river. After they have established shortwave communication with Speed, the flower boat, which they believe is smuggling Marsha Winfield up the river, appears, and as the boys prepared to stop the boat by means of red lanterns, Gilmore reveals that Marsha's missing brother Larry was his best friend. Learning that Marsha is the girl aboard the boat, he joins forces, and the three of them, well-armed, row out to meet the flower boat. Well, this is about the middle of the river, Bob. You better stop here. Right, old Clint. Flower boat has spotted these lanterns. Stand up and swing yours, Barney. Well, Bob and I balance the boat. Okay, but see that you balance it. I don't want to take a swim right now. Ahoy! Flower boat! Pull up! We want to board you! Danger ahead! Ahoy! What danger? We'll have to come aboard to explain. Pull to! All right, sir. we pull to. Let's row over. They're letting down a ladder for us. And keep your guns handy. There's a hundred or more Chinese aboard that boat and only three of us. Yes, but most of the passengers don't know what sort of boat they're really traveling on, Barney. Don't forget that. They imagine her to be one of the regular flower boats, built for nothing but pleasure. Look at that crowd up on deck. Uh, anything for a little excitement. Now, wait. Take it easy on the talk. We're near enough for them to hear us, so be careful. Okay. Do all three of us go aboard? Yeah, I think we'd better. We can tie the boat to the ladder. Yes, in fact, I'm doing that right now. I'll have her moored fast in a second. Yeah, you can start up the ladder if you want. All right, I'll go first. Watch it, Barney. It's tricky trying to get onto a ladder from a swaying boat, you know. Okay, I'm right after you. All right. Bob coming? Yeah. Uh... uh. Ah, here we are. Over the rail. Here, I'll, I'll help you over, Barney. I can make it. Uh, all right. We'll wait for Bob before starting anything. Okay. I'm over. Now, what next? You'll find out. Here comes something that might be the captain. What is wrong? Why have you stopped travel? Where is danger? We're the police. We're going to search your boat. Oh, no, no. My boat. Very good boat. Yeah? Then why did you smuggle a cargo of slaves down to the Siang dock and beat it after you transferred them? This boat did not carry slaves. Only flowers and dancing girls. You gentlemen wish to enjoy dancing girls, the music, eh? No. Ain't we already told you we're here to search the boat? Uh, no use arguing with him, Bonnie. He'll stall as long as possible. You, what's your name? Me, Hot Toy. All right then, Hot Toy. Whether you like it or not, we're going to search your boat. And I expect full cooperation from your passengers and crew. Don't try to start anything because there are only three of us. We're backed by the International Secret Police. International Secret Police. Oh, very nice. I help you search boat. Very nice. Very pretty. What's pretty about it? Something's wrong here, Clint. This guy's too nice all of a sudden. Yeah, we'll go on with the search anyhow. Uh, Bob, will you stay up here on deck? You bet I will, Clint. If there's any trouble, I'll shoot twice. Good. Now, Barney and I will go below to see what we can find. Come along, Barney. And you too, Hop Joy. Very happy. Very nice. But don't say it's very pretty. Oh, uh, no? No. You lead on, Hop Toy, and no monkey business. I got you covered. Here. We go down these steps, please? All right, go ahead. 
Get out your flashlight, Barney. Looks dark down there. Boy, it is dark. A gun in one hand and a flashlight in the other. What'll I do if I have to scratch my head? You don't. Hey, look. There are the boxes ahead. Hop toy, open one. That temple, well, they contain only nails. Never mind what they contain. Open it. All right. You see, gentlemen? Just nails, honorable policemen. Oh, Marsha. Marsha Winfield. It's Clint and Barney. No use, Clint. She's probably still drugged and wouldn't hear you no matter how loud you yelled. Huh? And we'll have to look in every box down here, Barney. I'm not going to risk a slip-up this time. But honorable policeman... Cut out that honorable stuff, Hop Toy, and get busy on them boxes, or you'll hop higher than any toy ever did before. Yes, Pete? Is there any way we could get hold of a plane real quick? You mean a private plane? Yes. I have one at my disposal for official business, but uh, it is away just now. Why? I want to go look for Clinton Barney. But, Speed, you talked to Clint only an hour ago. You know he is safe. He was then, but he hadn't stopped the flower boat yet. I've got a hunch they're going to need help, Ying. After all, there's only the two of them against that gang on the flower boat. They are running a risk, yes, but it will not be the first time. But don't you think it'd be a good idea to go after him? They'll need help with the prisoners, if not for themselves. We could take a police launch. Launch? You mean a speedboat? Yes, we could make the 200 miles up the Siang in four hours in the boat I have in mind. And we could take enough of our men with us to be of real help to Clint and Barney in case of danger. We could. Then let's start right away. Please, Jing. You'll go, won't you? I could leave all right. There's nothing pressing now. I have a very able assistant. Yes, I will go with you, Speed. Clint and Barney are brave men. Too brave. I think that this is one time they have grown careless of their own safety in their anxiety for Marsha Winfield. Well, that's what I think. I'm going to phone the doctor again, and I'm going to stay here a while longer, Li Ying. I won't tell him what I'm going to do, because he'd just worry. Good. Meanwhile, I will gather six of my men together and make arrangements to have the speedboat waiting for us at the dock in half hour, huh? Right. And something tells me that Clinton and Barney are going to need our help, whether they think they do or not. You make your telephone call while I tend to the other details. I will be right back. Okay. Thanks. Hello? Operator, I want to talk to Dr. Kingsley. I've forgotten his phone number, but he lives at 14 Lang Sioux Road. Yes, yes, that's right. I'll wait. Gee, this is going to be great. Going up the Seong River in a police launch. I wonder if I had a cable Chief Riley what's happened. No, I, I'd better leave that to Clint. Hello? Dr. Kingsley? This is Pete Gibson. Yeah, I know you thought I'd be there long ago, but something came up and I've got to stay here for a while longer. What's that? Oh, no, everything's all right. Sure, L- L- Yi Ling's with me, and will stay with me until you see me again. So don't worry. Yeah, and tell Jean not to worry, and we'll find Marsh all right. Yeah? Okay, goodbye. Gee, this crime laboratory of Ying's is a honey. You sure got everything in it. I have tended to everything, Speed. We can go just as soon as my men arrive. The bell will let us know when they are here. I was looking around your laboratory, Ying. Has Clint seen it? Why, yes, it is very similar to the crime laboratory the secret police maintained in New York and other key city speed. Because Hong Kong is, in a sense, the gateway to the Orient, it is only logical that we maintain such a laboratory here. This is the focal point for all our Far East activities. You must be an ace operator like Clint Lee Ying to have charge of all this. Oh, no. There is only one Clint Barlow speed. No man ever has or ever will equal him in secret police work. His past record of achievement has been almost unbelievable. That is why I am so sure that he will eventually bring the octopus to judgment, providing that he does not allow his heart to rule his head too much. He never has in the past, but uh, you being with him on this assignment may force him to change his rule. I hope not, Jing. I'm going to do everything to help him instead of causing trouble for him. Oh, uh-huh. men are here now. Come, Speed. We can start for the Siang Dock. Oh, but this is sure different from the last time he went. Then it was dark and foggy, and Clint, Barney, and me were in Chinese makeup. Remember? Uh-huh. I remember only too well. That time, the flower boat with Miss Winfield aboard got away from us. But it won't this time. Not if we can help it. Uh, 
That's the last box, Clint. Nothing but nails in every one of them. Yes, I can't understand it, Barney. I'm just as sure as I'm standing here that this is the boat Marsha was taken aboard. Well, she sure ain't aboard now. We've searched this tug so thoroughly that we even found out where the rats hang out. And there ain't a trace either of Marsha or the opium cargo. I'll have a policeman through searching. Uh, I guess so, Hoptoy. But you understand this. If you're pulling anything on us, the secret police will find you if they have to search every port in China. I understand. Hello. What's happening up on deck? Well, the passengers sound excited. Yeah, let's go see. The signal. Bob's in trouble. Come on, let's get up there. One moment, honorable policeman. Yeah, huh? You will stay where you are. One move to go up our deck and we will shoot you down like dogs. We? Oui. What do you mean? If you will throw your flashlight around, you will see that some of my men have surrounded you while you were so busily engaged in watching me open these boxes of nails. You can't get away with this, Hop Toy. No. You are trapped, Clint Barlow and Barney Dunlop. Barney? This is the octopus boat. Yes, Barlow, but no one will ever know. Because you and your comrade will take the place of nails in two of these boxes. With enough nails left in the boxes to carry them down to the bottom of the river. (laughs) Clint, the guy's crazy. Keep cool, Barney. Cool? You will soon be colder at the bottom of the river. A good resting place for the international secret police. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.